Zaya187 here coming at you with another Minecraft video. Today we are going to learn how to make a 1.8.8 spigot server by request of Aviv Minecraft. Thank you so much for your request and here it is. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is create a folder on your desktop like I have right here. I just call it server. You can name it whatever you want. And then you're going to open up your web browser and go to mcversions.net slash download slash 1.8.8 or it'll be in the description down below, no problem. And then you're going to click on download server jar. And you're going to save it to that file right there like that. Then you're going to go ahead and go over to the getbucket.org where they have the spigot 1.8.8 snapshot. You're going to go ahead and click right here and download that as well. Save it to the same file. Save that. And we're going to go ahead and open up that file and we're going to right click this spigot jar and rename it. And I'm just going to name it spigot.jar. I'm just literally just going to delete everything in between here. That is it. And then you're going to want to create a bat file. I have it already made here, but I will create one for you. Just right click. Go to new. And then we're going to want to create a text document. You're going to go ahead and open up that text document and paste this into it. Here it is over here. And I'll leave that also in the description down below. And then you're going to go down to save as. Go down here to where it says normal text file txt. And scroll up one to all types. You're going to rename it whatever you want, dot B-A-T, no caps. And then you're going to go ahead and save it. I already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. And it will save it into a bat file like this. And then you just double click that bat file. It's going to run for a second, give you a moment, and then it's going to get your EULA up. And then you're going to have to double click on your EULA. Change right here where it says false to true. And save that and go ahead and run the file again. And it's going to go ahead and create all your file, your world, nether, and your plugins folder here. This is where you're going to go ahead and put in all your plugins that you want. Make sure that they are 1.8.8 compatible. And as soon as it says for help, type help or question mark, then it's done. It's that simple. Go ahead and open up your Minecraft game. Make sure you are on version 1.8.8. And that's it. You're good to go. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you guys like what you hear, go ahead and uh, drop a like down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video. Let's get the word out. Thank you so much. Have a good day.